Welcome to the Rise of the Silent Woman podcast, a place where you can allow your silent woman to heal, release, and relax in a safe and judgment-free environment. I'm your host, Tennille Davis. This podcast is dedicated to my mother, the late great Hattie Moffitt, the first woman I've ever heard vocalize her silent woman. I love you and I miss you. I know when you made it to heaven, God said, well done, well done. Welcome to the first episode of the Rise of the Silent Woman podcast. Now, I know you're wondering, who the hell is this silent woman and why does she need to rise? Well, I want to read you a little bit of what the silent woman means to me. And you let me know if you can relate. The silent woman is about a woman we all know too well. She resides in all of us. She's the woman that hides in plain view right underneath the many hats you wear every day. She knows all your secrets and holds them close. She stares at you when you look in the mirror. She is your true form, your true self, the very essence of who you are. You can't hide or run away from her. She follows you wherever you go. She shows up in unexpected places and if left unattended, She will emerge at the most inappropriate time. She is your deepest thought, your guardian, and your protector. I'll tell you a story of the first time the silent woman showed up for me. It was a few months ago, earlier this year. Me and my family were going through so many things and all at once. One situation after another after another. It just seemed like I couldn't breathe. Like I couldn't stand above water. It just seemed like every time one thing would clear up, something else would happen. It was just back to back to back to back. So I was starting to lose hope. I was starting to just fear the worst of everything. So one day I was feeling down and just chalked it up to, this is how I've been feeling every day. This is just seemed like my norm. So I told my husband, okay, I'm about to go get in the shower. Just trying to make myself feel better. I'm thinking, okay, take my phone with me, turn my music on, you know, dim the lights, light some candles, and, you know, try to relax. Try to get some sort of peace. So I get my stuff. I go to the bathroom, prepare myself to get in the shower, trying to create a vibe, just some sort of serenity. I take my, my clothes off and I look in the mirror and I see this woman staring back at me that I don't even recognize. She looked so beat down, so tore up, like she just looked like the end of whatever. And I kind of just shrugged it off. I looked tired, you know, I'm just thinking just everything I'm going through got in the shower I began to wash myself up and I just feel a wave of emotion fall on me and I begin to sob I mean full blown crying that ugly cry but not a sound was coming out not a peep no breath no nothing you could hear a pin drop other than my music going And it just came to me, the silent woman. And I was thinking, I know I cannot be the only woman feeling this way. Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed by home, work, parenting, your relationship life, feeling, you know, on edge, you snapping at everybody, causing arguments, even when you don't even mean to. It's so many of us women out here suffering in silence, living in misery. 
dealing with life and the stress that we put on ourselves and that we allow others to place on us, having anxiety, panic attacks, feeling sadness, hopelessness, stressed out all the time about any and everything, worrying all the time, we in debt, borrowing money, owing people, thinking, Lord, how am I going to pay this back? How am I going to pay back this loan that I just got? And I'm not talking about the bank loan because my credit isn't good. I'm talking about the type of loan, those payday advance loans, that hamster wheel. I've been there too. Lying awake at night, can't eat, can't sleep. You know, your, your mind is just constantly going, not giving yourself any rest. Then you try to numb it by alcohol or prescription drugs or going to the dispensary and getting gummies or weed, not mentally present for your children, for your significant other, your husband, just not being available, hell, not even for yourself. Then you finally come to the conclusion where you're like, you know what, okay, I need to go to therapy. I need to seek help outside of my family because I can't let them know my secrets and my lies. I can't let them know what's going on or I don't want them to know because it's none of their damn business. So you go to the therapy, you know, if you have medical insurance through your employer, which is high, therapy is high, you know, even with having, like I said, insurance through your employer, your copay is high, your deductible is high. The only way you can afford it is if you have the finances to do so or you have Medicaid. So then you're like, okay, I'm gonna make the sacrifice and go. You get there and then you're like, okay, it'll be $60 every time you come. Okay, and you want me to come twice a week? That's $120 to your ass in one week. $480 a month, I'm good. Like, who has that? I can't afford that. I'm struggling financially. You know, I need, I'm crying out for help. I don't know who to turn to, who to go to. I can't even afford to give myself help with the bullshit that I'm going through. This is crazy. And then they're like, oh, well, we have, you know, free programs. And it's like, okay, you want me to go to what side of town to get this free help? Pass. Yeah, hard pass. So I'm going to take this $40 and you're going to give me some wine and give me some ice cream. I'm going to go home and I'm going to drown my sorrows in this bottle. And I'm going to figure it out. We as women are expected to do everything and be everything. And within that, we lose who the fuck we are. You look at yourself sometimes and you don't even recognize the chick staring back at you. And that's how I felt that day. And I know there's other women out there that can relate to this. I feel that with this, we can heal. We can bring a sense of community to one another. If it's you're not going through it at this time, maybe you know someone who's going through something, one of the topics that we're going to be discussing. And you can share this with someone. Help me heal. I'm still going through the healing process. And I will discuss and talk about my journey as this podcast goes along. Each episode is going to be about something that I have personally went through or I know someone who has personally gone through this that maybe can help you out or another woman that you know. We have to allow ourselves the opportunity to release, to cry, to break down. The silent woman in us needs that in order for us to keep going, to get up and face another day. There are times when I'm driving and I get home and I'm like, the hell did I get here? I'm so far gone in my thoughts. It's not even registering to me that I'm driving. Like that's what I mean by allowing our silent woman to release. You don't have to be strong all the time. And that is hard for someone who feels like I have to be strong for everybody, including yourself. 
sometimes you don't even have enough to feel sorry for yourself because you're so busy taking care of your children, your man, or your significant other. You're so busy with life, you forget about yourself. So I would love for us to build a community where we can come together and release and heal in whatever manner that looks like for each of us. I want to be vulnerable and personable with you. I want you to understand who I am and where I've been and where I'm trying to go. If I only help one woman off this podcast, that would mean all the world to me. I know there is someone else out there that feels this way and needs the opportunity for their silent woman to release and let go and find it in us to help another woman release as well and heal and relax in whatever way that shows up for you. That day, my silent woman showed up for me in the shower, allowed me to break down in such a manner that I didn't even recognize. I allowed myself to heal through that cry. I needed that cry, but she was so careful in keeping all my secrets and how I was feeling and not allowing my family to hear me crying. I was crying out for mercy for it to stop, just for everything to just go away. She was so clever in continuing to be my protector and my guardian. Even when it seems you are at your weakest, The silent woman is strong enough to know she has to be seen. She must be released. She must rise. You know, it's sad when you have to go into the bathroom to escape from it all just to get a peace of mind. But you know, we as women have the power to end our own misery. But first, we have to acknowledge our emotional energy and start listening to our silent woman cry out for some sort of healing and release. Remember ladies, we got this. And my hope for this podcast is for, you know, us to build some type of community, healing community for all women suffering in silence. We as women must allow our silent woman to rise because if we don't, she will show up as vengeful, resentment, anger, and destruction.